So this is an example of performing um, a very straightforward solar cell simulation using GPVDM. Um, we've chosen here a P3HT PCBM solar cell. It could be any other type of solar cell, like perovskite solar cell, or you know, any, any other type of structure you choose. Um, but we're just taking the default simulation here, um, just as an example. And we're going to run the simulation in the light, and we can tell it's a light because there's lots of photons coming into the device here. We could run the simulation in the dark if we wanted. Um, we'll do that in a minute. Um, but let's run it in the light to start with. So we just click Run Simulation and it performs the simulation. And the output is put into, I'll just close this help window, the output is put into this output uh, tab, so that this is where all the output's stored, and it shows you representation of the simulation directory. Um, the most, the file we're most interested in, I guess, is jv.dat, so if we um, double click on that, it shows us the current voltage curve the solar cell has just made. So using the zoom tool, we can zoom in to the area that's interesting, so sort of the Short, between short circuit and I guess VOC is most interesting for us. So let's zoom in there and we can see the solar cell's got a uh, JSC of about mi minus 40 amps per meter squared and a, and a, um, and a uh, VOC of about uh, 0.6 volts. Um, we can look at the fill factor and things like that by double clicking on this file called sim, siminfo.dat. Um, other things of interest are this terminal window. So this terminal shows you effectively the progress of the simulation. So we can look at what, what went on in the simulation. So if, if that, here it starts up, it tells you how many CPUs you've got. It cleans up the previous simulation, so that's what's happening here. And then it, it um, generates various files it needs. And the first interesting thing is this um, optical simulation it's performing acro across, um, so I guess going from about 300 nanometers all the way up to um, 630 six nanometers. And it kicks in and it starts performing its JV curve. So you can hear the, see here the voltage going up. And this is the current it's calculating. And then it's finished and it gives you the VOC. And so in fact, a VOC of uh, 0.56 volts and uh, and JOC of minus 34 um, amps per meter squared. And then it finishes. Um, we're now going to, talk, now going to do is run the simulation in the dark. Um, so we look at the dark JV curve because obviously you can learn a great deal from devices from the dark JV curve. So you just set, set the light intensity to zero. You rerun the simulation and then we look at the output again um, and we just look at the jv.dat and this time we're going to press L, little l on the keyboard and the, um, the device shoots into a log scale so we can zoom in on uh, this, this section of the curve here and we can see effectively a typical dark JV curve. So that's it really, that's a very simple, running a very very simple first simulation using GPVDM.